Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. In this video, I'm going to be talking about ZBrush. And ZBrush, we've made some really significant improvements uh, in the last month. And it's been really, really difficult to try and get it to uh, the place that we're at right now, which we want to know what's changed. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hop over and kind of share what's going on there. Okay, so one of the things that you'll notice is the artist pad over here now has very, very needed tooltips. So this is going to give you instructions on what these things are doing in ZBrush. So here you're going to see zoom, touch, rotate, touch. And what that means is put your thumb on the button and you're going to move your thumb while it's on the button. You're not tapping the button. You're using it like a little tiny mini trackpad. So here, this is going to allow you to do a handful of different things. Uh, there's a new function feature inside of the pen tool. This is version four of the pen tool, which I'm very, very happy with. Uh, we have stuff to still improve, but it's a massive, massive step forwards. So here we have tap to unlock and we have 3D modeling. These are different ways to use the pen on the screen. And we have sticky modifiers. All of these are going to be pretty important. So let's go ahead. We're going to double click to apply and close. And now what you're going to see is uh, so tap something there. Okay, now what you're going to see is when I tap Alt, it's going to stay depressed while I'm using it. And then when I pull my pen tip up, it's going to um, disengage. So this is natural. It's not the same thing as holding it down while you're using it, which still is blocked. So you're just going to tap it, it's going to turn it on, and then you can see intensity. There we go. Why is it so subtle? Alright, so same thing here with all of these. It's a very natural, intuitive feeling. It is not the same as holding down the keyboard shortcut while you're using it. It is in some ways easier and still very intuitive. So buttons over here, you're going to tap and use it. When you pull the pen tip up, it will stop functioning. Yay. That's great. I'm very, very happy with that. Okay, so that is sticky modifiers and how that works here. Again, I mentioned that we have these uh, Tooltips now that will help you understand what the buttons are supposed to do. Um, here is decrease division, increase division. Uh, right down here, size, map location. Map location means you need to map the location. So right over here, right here, draw size. This is uh, ZBrush core, which means that some of these UI elements are going to be somewhere different. So you may need to go into the layout editor and adjust the size of that uh, specifically. I will show you quickly how to do that. So you can right click anywhere here, or you can click on the menu here, choose layout, edit. So we're gonna go over here and let's go to this button, the size button, we'll tap on it. And go. Okay, so we're going to remap the location. I'm going to use the transparency button right here. And so I can see draw size. If I have a hard time seeing it, I can decrease the opacity, but I can see this right here. I want it to start right over here. So I'm going to click the location button. That's right here, location, and put this where I want it to. Tap location and copy the coordinates. And then I'm going to just paste them into location right here. And you can do just the paste button right here and that will do that for you. So anything that says map location, you may need to adjust. Uh, you can go in here and adjust the tooltip here to say something different if you want. All right. So now for this, if you want to turn tooltips off, you can turn them off right here and you can adjust properties and settings for the tooltips. Okay, so the next thing that I want to talk about, the pen tool has this 3D modeling option. Now, this is primarily for navigation. So keep in mind, this is designed to help you pan and zoom around the screen, not necessarily sub and at. You can do it, but there's another 
step a little small caveat to it, which for some may drive you bonkers and for others just like, okay, that's easy. And hopefully we can improve this further so this step isn't needed. All right, so I'm gonna tap the button here. This is the invert button. So I'm dragging on the screen and then uh, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm pulling the pen tip up just a little bit before I release the side button. So dragging with the button down, get to where I want. I pull the tip up, release, and then I zoom in and out. Now, what the difference is here is if you're used to ZBrush and you pan and you release, you see this um, jump in Z space. This is not good. So now if you tap the button just while you're hovering, you can just hover, tap the button while you're in 3D modeling mode uh, in the pen tool, and you can zoom in and out and then tap the screen and that will release that modifier. So if you're using this for subbing, it's a little bit too much, for subbing, you can do sub and add and sub and add. All of that works correctly, but then you're going to need to tap the screen one more time to disable. If I sub and then I just stop using it, it's going to stay engaged and keep drawing while I'm hovering. So you have to tap the screen. It's, it's a little funky, but it's still a very large step forwards. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, I have shift here set to tap to unlock. All I'm doing is I'm just tapping that once and then I get that, that behavior until I pick the pen up. You can do this for sub as well. So if we go control backslash and over here and we switch this here to tap to unlock and we wanna use this for doing sub, add, sub, add, sub, add. It's very easy to do that, but then when you go to navigation, you're gonna get that jump in Z space. So it's a combination. You can set you know, one of the buttons to do navigation, the other one for that. Uh, let me demonstrate right click. So we're gonna change this to right click. This is a hover right click. So here, this is allowing just for some, you know, hover right click navigation you can also, just tap it and get the um, spacebar menu. I don't know what that's called. Definitely not a ZBrush expert, but I think that those who are will understand uh, the significance here. All right, I think that's it for this update. If you guys need the new ZBrush preset that has all the location stuff in it, I will attach it to the download for the desktop program. So that's tabletpro.com slash desktop to download the Tablet Pro Artist Pad, the Tablet Pro software installer, and you purchase that in the Microsoft Store. So you go here. There we go. So just go up here and type Tablet Pro, and it'll show you both apps here. You need both of these for this function and the desktop app. To download the desktop app, you're just gonna go here as well. Go to Tablet Pro and go to Install. We have a nice guide here and some frequently asked questions. You're going to click on that button right there and it'll download the installer that has the extra presets with it. All right, thanks for watching. If you're not subbed to this channel yet, please do that. It's a great channel for anyone who uses a Windows tablet with a stylus. All right, until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.